This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 29, June, 2018. Ash from Mount Agung's first volcanic eruption since late 2017 results in the closure of Balisangura, Ray International Airport until at least 7 p.m. Mount Agung volcano erupts during the night, as seen from Kubu, Karangasam Regency in Bali, Indonesia on June 29, 2018. Airlines avoid flying through volcanic ash as it can damage aircraft engines, clog fuel and cooling systems and hamper visibility. Five people are killed after a shooting at the office of the capital, and the Maryland Gazette newspapers in Annapolis, Maryland, U.S. The suspected shooter is detained by local police. He threw smoke grenades and fired a shotgun, according to Anne Arundel County Acting Police Chief William Cramp. At a media briefing Thursday evening, police identified the slain victims as Wendy Winters, Rebecca Smith, Robert Hazen, Gerald Fischman and John Namora. Staff at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis said the attacker, armed with a shotgun and smoke grenades, shot through a glass door into the newsroom. United States media have named a suspect held by police as Jared Ramos, who is reported to have unsuccessfully sued the newspaper group in 2012 for defamation. Mr. Davis described the shooting at the newspaper's office in Annapolis, just east of Washington, D.C., as being like a war zone. A light aircraft crashes in the Ghatkopar district of Mumbai, India, killing all four occupants and one person on the ground. The plane was about to land at the Mumbai airport when it crashed some distance away in Ghatkopar, killing all four on board two pilots and two maintenance engineers. The plane, a Beechcraft King Air C-90 turboprop, was sold by the Uttar Pradesh government to a Mumbai-based UY aviation company in 2014. Former Civil Aviation Minister Prafal Patel tweeted that the pilot saved many lives at the cost of her own by swerving to avoid crashing in a busy area. A fire breaks out at the Daikomba market in Nairobi, Kenya, with 15 confirmed deaths and numerous homes and stalls destroyed. More than 70 people were injured in the blaze, which broke out in the middle of the night destroying many properties. Daikomba is one of the largest open-air markets in the city and fires there are frequent, leading to speculation about possible arson attacks, the standard newspaper says.